Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about our physical bodies, the vehicle that we have for our life here on Earth. What a miracle of engineering. My dad, who studied medicine, remarked that after studying its intricacies, you cannot but believe in God. <clears throat> when I attended a Lamas class, I was blown away by the wisdom of the birth process. All those people who believe in some kind of Big Bang that started life on Earth have more faith than I have. How could all these miracles come out of nothing? Most injuries, the physical body can heal with proper care. <clears throat> However, a lot of people have aches, pains and illnesses. Were we designed to stay healthy? Many years ago, I had severe back pain. A surgery brought relief, but pain is a great motivator and it started my lifelong quest for healthy living. The more I researched, the more I realized that in this imperfect world, the odds are stacked against me in many ways. For example, I live in a food desert. I live in the country and it takes quite a while to get to the next grocery store. Even when I get there, 99% of the products for sale will make me sick over the long run. More on that later. Combine that with a lack of exercise, stinking thinking, smoking and drinking, and you have a recipe for hell on earth. I trust doctors and hospitals to help me with injuries, trauma, but not with degenerative diseases or disease prevention. <laughs> One medical emergency or prolonged illness can be enough for someone to lose their home and bring them to their knees financially. Medical expenses are through the roof, even with health insurance, which is not properly named by the way and should be called sickness insurance. One recent visit to an emergency room cost us around $1,200 and was not covered by insurance. The premium we paid for three people on the so-called free market was $1,200 <clears throat> per month, which is twice as much as our food budget. I always wanted to be in a pool of people who make responsible decisions in their lives, so I switched to a Christian insurance alternative. Still $800 a month. The whole system is so messed up. In the kingdom of God, are we going to be super healthy with a lush mane of hair, pink cheeks, beach bodies and boundless energy? Maybe not, because we can still dig our graves with fork and knife. There will always be freedom and responsibility and we must choose the behaviors that keep us healthy. This requires effort and discipline. <clears throat> In the kingdom of God, crony capitalism systemic corruption and centralization of power will be limited. True competition lets the best provider succeed and prosper. Let the informed consumer decide who is truly helping them. This will also rein in the out-of-control pricing. There will always be a few bad eggs, but they won't be able to survive for long in this system. Natural doctors will have a fair chance. Right now, they're being sidelined. Many researchers who have found natural cures <coughs> have been assassinated because they threaten the profits of big pharma and also wake up the population. <coughs> of course, the mainstream press will not report about these great discoveries and the crimes committed. Right now, we are experiencing medical tyranny. Harmful vaccines are forced upon the population and effective natural methods are being denied by not being covered by health insurance. I suspect that any of the information that I provide to a doctor or hospital is not private and protected, despite the assurance that it is. Anything can be used against me someday. <clears throat> In my next post, I want to share with you my strategy to stay healthy and thrive even in the current situation. Have a good life. See you soon. <laughs>